Hello everyone, I'm Sharika Vikrosina. I'm a senior software engineer for WSO2's identity and access management team. In this screencast, we will look at how to use multi-attribute login feature WSO2 identity server. Multi-attribute login is a new feature in WSO2 identity server that allows users to log in with their preferred attributes, such as email address, username, mobile number, etc. With this feature, you don't have to restrict a user to use username as the only login option for your applications. Not only that, WSO2 Identity Server facilitates uniqueness management of user claims for these login attributes. So what it means is that you can configure this feature to enforce uniqueness for these login attributes. For example, suppose you add a mobile number as a login attribute, you can configure that attribute to be unique. So two users can't use the same value for their mobile number attribute. Next, let's look at why we need multi-attribute login. Multi-attribute login allows the user to log in with another attribute which may be easier to remember or enter than it would be for the username. Administrators can enable this feature on identity server by selecting the set of allowed login attributes. This allows users to log in with a selected attribute from a given attribute list. Moreover, multi-attribute login allows updating the login identifier value in case you want to change it. Next, let's see how to configure and use multi-attribute login feature with WSO2 Identity Server. Suppose Bob is an end user and he wants to log in using his mobile number instead of his username. Now, Let's get the mobile number configured as the multi-attribute login identifier. Here, a privileged user has to enable this configuration for the user. First, you have to log in to the management console as the admin user. Then, under main, identity, identity providers, click on resident identity providers. Then expand the account management section. Under account management section, there's a section called multi-attribute login. You have to expand this multi-attribute login section. Then enable the configuration to enable multi-attribute login. Add the mobile claim URI under the allow attribute claim list. Then click on update to save the changes. Next, you need to provide a regular expression for the allowed claim. Some claims have a default regex. If they don't, you need to provide it. To do that, go to main claims and click list. Select the WSO2 claim dialect and search for the mobile claim. Click on edit. Enter the regex pattern under the regular expression field if you want to edit the default one. After editing it, you can click on update to save the changes. Finally, you need to register a new user to try out the multi-attribute login. Here, we assume Bob as a user created by admin. Edit Bob's user profile from the management console and set a value for his mobile number. Then click on update to save the changes.
Now, once Spock access my account application or any other configured third party application, he can enter the mobile number and the password instead of the username to access the application. You have now successfully set up and used WSO2 identity server to enable multi-attribute login. Further, you can try out multi-attribute login with all the user authentication flows in identity server, including identifier first authenticator, basic authenticator, request path authenticator, authentication REST APIs, auth password flow, and password recovery flow, etc. With this demonstration, you learned about multi-attribute login and how it can make the user's login experience more convenient and enjoyable. I hope this demonstration will help you to get started with multi-attribute login. Thank you for watching this video.